Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is a bonus afternoon delight reading <coughs> and hopefully my throat or my voice is not too bad this time around. The first one I barely had a voice. The day before I had no voice but that was because of the Blue Beach Festival. Personal readings are open again for however long I can handle the numbers. So do check the website for the personal readings. As members of the website, you get a discount. <coughs> and that's only $10 a month. It gives you access to all of the extended readings for the Zodiacs and Afternoon Delight. And you can ask a question in the comment section of the extended reading. And I'll help personalize it for you more by pulling a card. Let's start with the animal oracles. You have the water dragon and the boar. <clears throat> this is about your emotions trying to rise to the surface and um, possibly feeling a little bit helpless or trying to get grapple with those emotions, trying to get them in balance every now and then. Uh, there's, it seems like this is about triggers where it kind of raises certain emotions to the surface that actually need to be dealt with. When it comes to the boar, this is about exploration, going down paths you've never been before. Um, so this looks to me very much like a, a healing energy. With the Shaman Oracle, I took all four cards. We're going to speak first about the child and this new skin that you are in. This is about not not needing to fix anything. Uh, to quit the habit of working on your faults because you've broken out of an old skin and this one is still quite tender so be so be gentle with yourself these are about brand new beginnings brand new chapter in your life this is more about rising out of the ashes like a phoenix burning off old energies old situations old chapters old phases and the tree of life it can be um, regarded as the world card where a cycle is ending, but it also tells us that we should be uh, like a synchronicity, roots and branches deeply rooted in ancestral, as well as the branches that reach out to those unknown, own, unknown places. I can't even talk. Is Mercury retrograde or what? Um, the tree of life it is almost like it reminds me of when you burn grass to allow new shoots to come up this is something that is ancient but it's something that you've been purging perhaps a healing of we've talked a lot about ancestral and collective karma and how some of you have been literally paying the price for many <clears throat> this may well have to do with that and it also tells me too that it's this purging that is going on it's it's like a blessing it's like a blessing where the universe just wants to give you have everything fall into place if you've been praying or connected with spirit you're on your path good things are coming <clears throat> finally the fairy oracle we have the fairy godmother and the sage so this looks to me like you and you know you're about weary here you almost popped your eye out for heaven's sakes in that last battle but this is about the wisdom that you've gained this is a very rooted card earthy grounded balanced but very, very wise. And I, I don't know, I, you may be battle weary, but there's some, some beauty in that, in that, those scars. Because of all that you've gone through, it looks like you're going to have some wish fulfillments here. Fairy God, Godmother is all about the energy that is surrounding you, that it's that, that code of letting you know that <clears throat> your prayers were heard and universe is working on your behalf to bring things together 
so let's get on with the tarot card of your reading. We have nostalgia, possibly someone coming back from the past. Um, you could be looking at it, um, remembering things better than they were, or maybe worse than they were. But there's a lot of nostalgia here. Perhaps you're reflecting on that crossroads that you were just at when you made a decision about whether to continue a relationship. This doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It could be a family member or a friend uh, that you parted ways with. Uh, but when you made that decision, Spirit picked you up and put you on the guardian's back, grabbed the hermit's lantern and said, okay, let's cross this finish line. Let's cut these cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So you've gone into hermit mode. Perhaps you've been in hermit mode for a while because this card likes to come up an awful lot lately. You have the keys. This is the left side of the brain. The hermit's lantern, he takes the light from the right side, which is brought in through the emperor and empress from spirit. The hermit takes that light and lights the way through the left side of the brain, which is about solutions, problem solving, making uh, life decisions. You definitely have the keys working on this, possibly coming out of hermit mode. Five of air, there was a lot of conflict, competition. And it's, every time I see this card, I think to myself, you've made a, a 90 degree turn here. You were going one direction and just poof, 90 degree turn. Um, literally dealing with these conflicts or competition like it doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. You're dancing to the beat of your own drum and doing it quite eloquently. So universe has decided to give you a brand new beginning or you've made some decisions in your life that have wiped the slate, letting go of past bitterness, letting go of negativity, things that do not serve anymore. Wanting to have a brand new start without the baggage. Page of fire, we have a message coming in. One that will please you and help open up that path or direction that you're going down. Queen of water, we have the healer. Could be dealing with a water sign. <clears throat> Yeah, we've got two of each. Two air, two fire, two water. This person can be very emotional. But they are also healers. They're psychically connected. They're spiritually connected. So it could be a, that this is you or someone who is has come into your life. That is a spiritual mentor. And has these amazing healing abilities. This could also be someone who wants to offer a cup of love. The queen of water always manages, not manages. It's just what she does. She fills her own cup. She doesn't wait for someone else to fill that cup of love. She exudes it. King of earth could be dealing with an earth sign. This is all about the money. This is all about focus on the money. He's not too focused on anything but the money. This could be a boss, um, someone who wants to offer you a promotion, a job, um, or if it is a relationship, to offer you stability and balance within union. His face always looks so sad to me. Looks like a sweetheart. Fortune's wheel. A confirmation that the universe is moving things forward in your favor. This can mean wealth. This can mean balance. This could be, mean your new phase that has already started. And the empress, the right side of the brain, being fed from source or higher self through higher self, the Christ consciousness, bringing light into the world, one of the earth angels. You could be stepping into the Empress's shoes. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. But this is all about giving birth to something new. 
something brand new. This new face for you guys looks very good. It looks, we've got the King of Earth and the Empress uh, sandwiching the fortune's wheel. So we're seeing uh, you step into birthing something new that's going to bring a lot of stability, um, money. Possibly love here. Seven of fire. This is how far you've come. This was the mountain you built. You are the king of the castle or the queen. And it is solid. So you can jump off of that. Make a fool's leap and expand. And you will not lose it. You've got the magic horn. There are others around that are somewhat envious of you. But that's okay. You also have support. Three of water. Celebrations. Reunions. Weddings. Kitchen parties. Uh, it could have been in the past you dealt with a three-party situation. I don't get that feeling for this card today. This is all about knowing what you can bring to the table and knowing what others can bring to the table and celebrating over it together. Queen of Air. This is a person. This could be you taking on this energy. Um, has a lot of wisdom and they are no nonsense. They're approachable. They're willing to listen, but they will cut right through the BS if they hear it and call you out on it. She can be a very intimidating creature. Um, oftentimes the queen of air is about someone who is single and quite comfortable about being single. They have their own wisdom, their own independence, and they're very real. They're upfront. They're real. They're very authentic. They live their authentic selves so that could be you you could be an air sign so we've got everybody here air earth fire water the clarifying deck has already been shuffled ready to cut we've got love falling in love this is new love if you're a couple it's renewed love but this is deep abiding, healing, cup overflowing love. So now you have a new beginning in both a clean slate without the baggage and in love. It looks like your mind is on someone from the past. Perhaps the one that got away. Or maybe just trying to make a decision. Maybe you're at the crossroads right now about this person from the past. Do I continue with this person or do I start with a clean slate? And if I start with a clean slate um, and it's with this person, you'll have to undoubtedly let go of the past. Completely let go of the past. The, the forgive and let go of the past. It's no fun being in a relationship where you're constantly bringing up the other person's faults. But if you see the good in another person, it brings out the best in them. If you see anything but nothing but negativity, um, you're destined for failure. What do they call what do they call that kind of prophecy? Self-fulfilling prophecy. If all you can see are the negative traits. I'm not seeing anything negative here whatsoever. I'm seeing a, a beautiful new beginning. Ready to birth something new. Having some uh, stability. Money. Celebration. Without the, the BS. Beautiful new start. Alright. We cut the cards. Did we look at the bottom? Yeah. We did. We got love. This is the card that flew out. Laying down the burden. So like I said earlier, if you're going to continue with this person from the past or you're going to re reconcile, you need to lay down all those burdens. You need to. This is also about learning about give and take. If you've been doing all the giving, it's time to lay down those burdens. These wands belong to other people and you're carrying them. It's OK to give them back. Say, all right, you need to be responsible for yourself. I've looked after your wand this long. Your turn. I got things to do. A path to walk. 
and if your paths are merged to walk together for however long there needs to be uh, unequal give and take two of fire seven of pentacles so this crossroads you were at was the decision of do i stay or do i go we we see you have invested time money efforts into either a job or a relationship a family matter <clears throat> and at the crossroads you're needing to decide do do i wait am i patient a little longer to have this harvest that all that i've built with this person will it ever come to fruition that's the decision that you're facing the hangman <clears throat> is about being in pause being well stuck in a way but not really um, it's not self-inflicted the universe you know spirit literally hung you on a tree and said okay you stay there until you start seeing things a different way perhaps it's time to break a certain thought pattern that you've been stuck in and perhaps this is where the conflict has come from this could have been from others meddling as well but sometimes we just need to take a step back and do our own thing this hangman talks about being enlightened not just looking at things from different angles but an awakening process ace of air we've got you up in your head i guess you're worried about this new start do i start clean either you start clean with I mean this could be a job too but you are up in your head way too much sleepless nights worry imagining things are actually worse than they are <laughs> if this is about a relationship perhaps you're worried about being on your own you're used to being with someone and it's a natural fear but unless we come to a point in our lives where we fill our own cups depend on no one but ourselves then if we're unable to do that we've blocked the ability to receive and give or you end up in a relationship where you're doing all the giving and not getting anything in return page of fire is going to be clarified by the six of cups this person from the past is back again this message coming in that's going to open a path for you um, will be coming from this person now this person doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you've been in a relationship this could be someone you met that you clicked with and the reason why you clicked with them was because you lived past lives together so two of them coming up like this Some of you could be meeting your soulmate, connecting with a soulmate here. Now we have the Emperor. So we have both the Empress and the Emperor. The Emperor is landing on the Queen of Water for clarification. So this Emperor sees this Queen of Water as the healer and very much wants him, wants her to help him build his empire, make her his Empress. The Emperor is also Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries, but not necessarily. You could be dealing with a Cancer, but not necessarily. Capricorn, I see. Pisces. Not too heavy on the signs today, but it isn't the signs so much as the energies. Five of Swords. So this person if it is the past person um had an empty victory it was like they won they won the battle but they lost some people that meant something to them having to win at all costs this person may be reflecting back thinking wow was it worth it i won but was it worth it 
And there, his face again. He doesn't look too happy. Fortune's wheel. Yep. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to take a leap of faith. This is the zero point card, the zero point uh, field. What Pythagoras murdered over to keep quiet the, the knowledge of this number is the magic of the magic. So we have the zero card and fortune's wheel, which is a zero. You're going to do it. You're going to take that leap of faith. You've already manifested a soft landing. Sun is going to shine on you. You're ready for your new path. You're ready for your new cycle. Whether it's with someone from the past or someone you're already involved with. Or someone you're wanting to be involved with. <clears throat> Again, this is job opportunities. Uh, bringing in wealth. And oftentimes, I have to point out, when you see the emperor and the empress together like this, you amalgamate the two and you find balance, prosperity, abundance of all areas. Love, money. Um, gosh, I drew a blank. Abundance. Lots of abundance. The empress. All right, you were ready to birth something new, but I guess you had to walk away to do it. This is walking away from everything that you invested up here was the seven. And you're wondering if this life decision or crossroads that you're at, you invested, you nurtured, you planted seeds. Um, is it worth waiting? Is it ever going to come to fruition? So it shows you being exhausted from being patient. But here it shows you moving into the eight, which is walking away. You want your ten of cups. You don't want eight. You're walking away to get those two cups. And the two of cups, of course, is about soulmates, true love. And when two soulmates come together, there is abundance. So there are things that you don't know yet. They're not revealed to you yet because of the moon energy. But you're taking that trust to another level. And you're walking through a narrow passageway. In order to find that missing two of cups, this empress is looking for her emperor or vice versa. So looks like you can jump off of that hill and expand. You're not going to lose it. And the sun is going to shine on this new cycle for you and crown you in glory. Hold on to these energies, guys, because they can do some marvelous things for you. Marvelous. Could be dealing uh, with a Leo. Not necessarily. You want celebration? Oh boy, so now this is a three-party situation. Huh? Usually this is about celebration, but when it's coming up with the Two of Swords, this is about deciding between two people. Out with the old, in with the new, or out with the new, in with the old. This could be about a decision uh, uh, regarding family that needs to be made, an important decision about uh, the future of a family, the future of relationships, business. Could have something to do with health as well. Queen of Air is going to be clarified with strength. Boy, this, this is an intimidating person. She's independent, she's strong, she's courageous, she walks her talk. No BS. She just wants the facts, nothing else. She's tamed the ego within. She's not walking around arrogant. She's just extremely wise. Not necessarily a female. This could be a male as well, but these are the energies. Uh, the queens are directors where the kings are the actors. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading at the website. I hope you guys do join me. As I said, you get a discount on those personal readings as a member. And a membership is only $10 a month for now. Lots of popcorn. Make lots of popcorn. Grab a coffee. Head on over. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help me a lot.
God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed your bonus and we'll be talking again soon. Zodiacs will be published in the members area in the next day or two and then to the public by Thursday. All right. See you later. Bye for now.